So when do we use this stuff? Hey, this is John Young here with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about Teflon tape and when you use Teflon tape. If you've never used this, there are a variety of different types and sizes and such. You can pick these up. This is a little more expensive one, uh, but they, they have a variety of widths and uh, how much they're on the spool. This is, uh, in the link down below, uh, this is about, I think, three of them for like $10, something to that effect. You can buy them at your big box store for 99 cents. And basically what it is is a very thin tape that can be can be ripped or pulled apart and this is to be put around threaded ends it says right here that it is the you know for, for the thread tape so when do we use this this is this is a question and some people use it correctly you know that no and some people are like struggling when do they use it there's a lot of different types of connections when it comes to water lines and this is typically used when it comes to those water lines because you don't want water to escape the question becomes is what is the sealing mechanism with that specific connection uh, let's look at some connections that this would not be used for first off let's start off with the wastewater connections which are typically pv you see this kind of connection would not use any kind of a Teflon tape because what it is is it's actually glued together and it's it's somewhat where the two are basically doing a bond and kind of melting together so PVC is out next we're going to look at uh, PEX PEX type connections are water connections the water line connections that run through walls and such kind of replacing some of the copper that we would have PEX is another spot where you would not use Teflon because in, in PEX they're using a crimping uh, tool that will actually kind of squeeze that connection to make it watertight and the next we'll look at is copper. Now copper is running water into most buildings. That's an, kind of a little older way to do it. The copper is connected with a sweat type fitting or a, a soldered connection. Well, they'll clean it, they'll treat it with a little, a little flux, and then they'll be able to put it together and solder it together. So it's going to be a connection that gets hot to melt the solder and then off it goes. Finally, there's some connections where it is a threaded connection, and that's where, where our Teflon tape would go. The Teflon tape would go on the threaded parts. Now, in this particular piece I'm, I'm going to show you here is I've got a metal, and you can actually see that there's still Teflon tape from this one. This was connected to a black water line, um, one of the water lines that go underground to go from like the well to the house if you're in you know, more of a rural uh, application. But that water line connected here, and it did not need, it's actually got, it's all white and corroded, but it did not need to have anything on this end because what it had is it was on there. Uh, generally, you take a, warm it up just a little bit with either your, your some people use a torch. Um, I have a little heat gun that I will warm it up, a little electric heat gun. Warm that, slide it on there, and then when it's warmer, it's a little bit bigger, slides on, and then it will, it will contract. You have your hose clamps on there, a couple of hose clamps, and this is sealed up. But the other end, both of these are, it doesn't matter if it's plastic or metal, going into plastic or metal, the key thing is that what is going to be the gasket to seal. There isn't any kind of, if you look in there, I don't know if you can see in there, there's just the metal end. There isn't anything where you're going to put this in and there's like a gasket like you would see in your garden hose. You don't see anything like that. So that means that we have to go and use our, our Teflon tape. I'm gonna actually show you. Now with Teflon tape is you actually will go, pull some out, get it going on that. And you don't wanna go over, you wanna make it so that the the area towards the end of it is is thinner. It's there, but maybe thinner or maybe just in like a half up, half so you can get it started. Then as you go, and I'm just going to, you kind of put a little pressure on it as you, you go, and you can start to see that it's kind of conforming to the threads. So I've got it at the beginning and I'm gonna actually go around here a couple of times and then pull and then it, that's how it breaks, so that's how it cuts it. And it is now on, on my, my device. Now if you go the wrong way as you're going around, sometimes it'll be fine and it won't have a problem with it. Sometimes it will start to let loose. That's why having that pressure on it and wrapping it around itself a couple of times. So now I can get it threaded, I can get it started, I can go in and now I'm to the point where the Teflon tape, I can start to feel that it's 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 touching and it's impeding the, the action. So we'd hold on to this, crank this down, and I'm gonna just show you here. If I take this off, you should be able to see 
you can see, there you go, yep, you can see how far in it got before I started to. Now as it goes farther, because it's a little thicker, it's going to be going into more Teflon tape and it's going to squeeze into those little grooves and it's going to seal up tremendously well. Now that type of device will be used in a lot of different applications. Say if you're going to have a shutoff valve on a stool or something. This particular end on this is a sweat connection. So we put our half inch copper inside there. We'd have to clean it out, do our things and put that uh, on and solder it on. Once it's cooled off, then we could go through and we would wrap our Teflon tape on and then we would mount our valve, which typically you would mount all the other things on the other side of the valve and then have it to a point, you know, as far as you could, what makes sense for your application. And then you could put it together and you'd have it like this. And on the other end, of course, you would have Teflon tape on this particular valve that you would do on both sides of it. And this is actually a check valve here, so water can go through it one way but can't go through it the other way. Kind of a neat little thing that you use sometimes when you're running water applications. Now another spot is garden hoses. Um, on this particular device, this has a, a little bit different copper connection. This has a compression fitting in here. So you've got, you put this on the, you put this on your half inch copper first, then you put this little ring on and they would be in on your copper, your copper tube like that. And then you put it together. And when it ends up happening in this particular case, there's no Teflon needed because this little copper ring will get squeezed as it's going to be pushed against this and the nut. And as it's getting squeezed, it lines up right there. As it's getting squeezed, it'll actually compress a little bit and seal your seal lot up to the copper tube. Now, once this connection is made, it's, it's pretty much, you can loosen this, but that little that little guy is pretty much going to be kind of melt or not melted, but get, you know crimped in, bent in, whatever to the copper tube, and it really is not something you can take off and reuse. It's a one-time use, but no Teflon tape used on this type of connection. Garden hoses, garden hoses. You don't do Teflon tape either because garden hoses are based on the same principle. I'm gonna get one to show you here, as as a lot of your your water lines. This is a I believe this one is a sink. I don't uh, know. No, this is I believe. See, so yeah, this is either a sink or a toilet one. Um, the ba basically, the difference is in the size that goes into the device. I think this is a sink. But you see inside there's a gasket, and this is very much like your garden hose. Your garden hose, you don't use Teflon tape because what you do is you end up putting this on, tightening it up, and then the little spigot tightens up on the gasket and forms that seal. It pulls this tight, everything's there together, and it becomes a seal. If there's no gasket in your garden hose, you probably have hooked up a hose, there's no gasket in, and all of a sudden there's water splurting out. That's why there's a little, the rubber gaskets in there. This type of fitting, where it has the gasket, again, what is going to be the thing that seals it up? Is it the Teflon tape that is on the threaded parts, where two threaded parts are together and there's no gasketing? Or is it a situation like this, where this gasket inside is the part that has to make contact, get squeezed just a little bit, and then it becomes it becomes the sealing sealing factor. In this situation, you would not want to put Teflon tape because you need this to go all the way up, and you need this to go and pull tight so that it squeezes that little gasket in there, similar to a garden hose. If you can't turn the garden hose up onto the spigot all of the way, it's going to leak. So sometimes those little gaskets in a garden hose will become you know thinner, brittle, or maybe you've used it with a different spigot and it, on one spigot it's fine. One of them maybe it can't go in far enough. Maybe it only goes in you know halfway instead of all the way in. And in those situations, it may not touch to seal. So you have to get a different little gasket. And you can buy those at your at a big box store to have a different gasket that will go into your hose. So different spots. The big thing to think about is what is what what is going to be the sealing factor is it the little copper that's being compressed is it something that that there's a gasket or is it something that you need to have that teflon tape on there to make it a watertight seal now with the teflon tape once you have it on there if for some reason it's not working and you've run water through this is actually pretty easy to fix you can take it apart again and you know take i would peel off the old teflon tape so you can put a new as you can see it gets damaged so yeah i could do another loop loop and a half on here it would work um, sometimes it's just easier to go clean it all the way off because as you see teflon tape doesn't go away very easily and i've got some on here and this could cause a problem where it wouldn't give me a complete seal so cleaning things off and starting over at times like that would be a really good idea
This is John Young with Weekend Handyman. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, please put that down in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer those questions as best I can. And once again, thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.